Yo, what is good, YouTube? Man, y'all already know, man. It's your boy, Caleb J-O-E Joe, man. We are back with another video, you know what I'm saying? You did. Now, guys, man, today, man, I didn't come on here and lit, you know? It's ain't my lit usual vids that I would post, you know what I'm saying? It's just a it's just a little update, a little talk, you know? It's just what I got on my mind, basically. If you want to listen, you can. If you don't want to listen, you don't have to, you know? Y'all gonna click off the video if you don't want to listen to this regardless anyway. If you don't mind, before you click out this video, can you smash that like button? I mean, even though you ain't watching, you could at least smash the like button for me. But, man, I'm just, I'm just thankful, man. I thank God. You know, for for everything, that's what I first want to say. Because without God, I'm nothing, you know. I don't care how hard I work, try to work by myself or anything. If I ain't got God helping me, man, I ain't nothing, bro. And I feel like a lot of y'all need to hear that because <clears throat> a lot of times we give ourselves credit, you know, when we aren't the ones that's actually doing none of this work. You know, God, he put breath in all our bodies to be able to work. I don't care if you believe what you believe in, bro. To be real with you, bro, that's fake. You know, if I'm going to be 100% real, it's fake, bro. Because God is a true God. It ain't no other gods and none of that. I don't care. Whatever you believe in, bro. I don't know how else to say it. I, I just got to come raw with y'all, but... Don't think of me as a bad person, and I'm not. I'm just telling you like it is. I mean, God is the person over everything that we do, bro. God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, bro. They all are one, you know. And I just thank God for putting me in a position to be able to post every day. You know, if I didn't have God, I wouldn't be able to do that. Honestly, bro. Even though, like, I don't thank him enough like I should, bro. God is the person that has put me in a position, bro, to be able to live every day, to breathe, um, to have nice things, all that, bro. Like, the parents that I have, bro, I'm so blessed to have them, bro. I know it's a lot of people that do believe in God that don't have the best parents or have parents that really support them. But God bless me with my story to have good parents, you know. And I just thank God for that because, bro, like, honestly, man, almost everything that I done asked for in life, bro, my parents have got for me, bro, because they're blessed by God, you know. I'm just thankful, man. But every time we ask for stuff, every time we want things, you know, to ask God, that don't necessarily mean we're going to get them also, man. But I'm happy to say that God has blessed me, you know, in times to get things that I want, you know. I feel like with all this, like, going on in life right now, I feel like God is basically showing us a lot. He's showing us not to be playing around, you know. He's showing us that we need to get right, like, where we're wrong. Because, bro, you see what's going on. You see the pandemic going on. You see all this happening. I mean, you see everything is, like, that's in the Bible is happening, bro. I mean, I see a lot of people... Are picking up on that and i feel like some people um that they're, they're not gonna pick up on it but it's a creator over everything you know and i feel like the creator is god you know and i just want to tell y'all that so every single day bro i wake up i pray to god you know i thank him for waking me up another day because it's a whole new day you know it's a new day that i literally could have not woken up and been able to see bro every single day somebody died dies even before this Corona stuff happened, bro. People been dying every day. It's probably not as many as it is now, but bro, people have been dying every day, bro. So for you to be one of how many other people on this earth to make it alive, you know, you should be thankful, I believe, bro. And that's what I want to do today. Today, I want to be thankful for just the chance to live again, the chance to redeem myself, the chance to ask for forgiveness, the chance to live again for I can do right. Um, and I can do as the Bible wants me to do and live as Christ, you know. I just thank God for giving me another chance. Because y'all don't understand, bro. Every single day, if not every single day, every other day or whatever, bro, you sin, I sin, you know. And we have a chance if we make it. Look, we ask for forgiveness, all right, we go to sleep. If you wake up, bro, you have a chance that day to live a whole 24 hours without sinning, bro. You can show God with that little 24 hours. Because, bro, it does not take long to show God that you're with him, you know? Because God understands that we're going to make mistakes, man. He know we're human, you know? He know that we're bound to sin because of um, evil that's on earth. So God literally wakes us up and he gives us a whole 24 hours, you know, to redeem ourselves, to do good. Um, and if we do make a mistake, he says that we can repent, you know. Um, repenting, that's very, very good to do. Like, because if you don't repent, bro, you can't, like, you can't get forgiven. Like, bro, if I do something to you, like, if I slap you, bro, like, nine times out of ten, you're going to be very, very mad at me. you want to slap me back, bro. 
But if I come to you and be like, bro, I'm sorry for doing that. I really didn't mean to do that because I did that because I acted out of anger, you know. And you just make it right with that person. Nine times, nine times out of ten, that person going to be like, all right, bro, you cool, bro. I understand, you know. And, bro, that's basically what God does this, bro. He gives us a chance to be able to ask for forgiveness, bro. Even though we do wrong, he gives us multiple chances, bro. Like, bro, everybody has a chance to get right with God. And I believe every chance that we get to get right with God, we should take advantage of it. Because if we don't, then it's our fault. It's not nobody's fault but ours. It's not our mom's fault, our dad's fault. It's your fault, bro. Your fault. And a lot of times we want to blame other people for how our lives are going or how our lives will go, you know, and I feel like we shouldn't do that because it's too much time in a day. It's too much, um, it's too many options and ways that we can make our lives so much better nowadays. Even with all what's going on today, bro, we have the internet, bro. If you have a cell phone, bro, you have every right to make your life different, you know? I feel like we shouldn't put it on nobody. We shouldn't put it at, uh, I don't have parents that, that are supportive. I know I have parents that are supportive, but still, bro, even if you don't have parents that are supportive, you still can make it, bro. You still can make it. It's somebody in this world that supports you, bro. And God is the number one person that supports you first. And then it's somebody else besides God, you know, that's on this earth supporting you. So I feel like we shouldn't have no excuses, bro. I feel like excuses are just ways that we get out of stuff or that we make ourselves feel sorry, you know. And I feel like we shouldn't cope with um, excuses because I know I, in, in my lifetime that I've done that a lot of times, you know, make excuses of why something didn't happen, man, or something didn't work. Um, I feel like it's time to, like, stop making excuses, bro. It comes a point of time in your life, bro, you getting older, bro. It ain't no point of making excuses, bro. You cannot blame the next man off of your you not being somewhere you want to be in life, bro. I understand if you working hard each and every day and you still not progressing. I mean, you just got to keep on working, I guess. Because, bro, that's what I'm struggling with right now, bro. I'm posting every day, but our views have dropped, you know. They're not high as they have been with me posting every other day or whatever. Every week, I mean. Since I have been out of school, I've been posting every day. I feel like, bro, it's just, I got to work hard, keep on working hard. I mean, I can't really say what I can do because I really don't know what I can do to make myself way more successful in my YouTube career or whatever. But I love bringing content to you guys, man. It's just hard to think of ideas, bro. It's hard. I could post content every day easy if it's just regular content that I just genuinely want to post. But bro, like, if I'm looking at for numbers, bro, bro, I gotta go through all this process of thinking. Nine times out of 10, I really don't even know. Still, if y'all want to see it, like, it's, bro, YouTube is very, very stressful, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. A lot of people may think it's easy. It's really not, bro. Yes, bro, I'm doing this for fun at the same time. As I wanna be very, very successful on YouTube. If you wanna be consistent, you wanna if you wanna grind hard on here, bro, it's hard. It's not easy at all. I'm not finna sit here and lie to y'all and say it is, bro. And if you listening, bro, and if you're doing YouTube, I, I'm just tell you right now, bro. Work hard, bro. Don't even, bro, turn off your freaking, your sub count. Turn off all that, bro. Just grind and just don't even look at it, bro. If you want to really truly do YouTube for fun, for whatever, don't even look at the numbers, bro. I'm trying to tell you. If you look at the numbers and just think about the numbers, it's going to stress you out, bro. It's crazy, man. I just real life just want to talk to y'all because I, I don't know. Some people probably like hearing me talk. I don't know. I just be talking randomly. It's not a certain topic or anything. It's just whatever comes to my mind. That's basically what I'm talking about. But it's just hard coming up with ideas and things when you don't know what to post because you don't want to post anything that people don't want to see. Well, I just want a strong base that I could just post. They watch. It's family. CJS game family, you know. I want to be able to post whatever. Just have people just genuinely want to watch. I feel like I shouldn't stop posting until I, I at least make it to that point. And I won't stop then. I mean, I'm going to keep on posting, obviously. It's just, it's just going to be incredible when I see myself at the point where I want to be. And I know that I'm truly working hard for it. When I make it to the point where I want to be, bro, I'm going to just know myself that God literally put the work ethic in me to be able to make it where I want to make it. Because at the end of the day, you always got to put God in. I always got to put God in what I'm doing. I always got to say, it wasn't me. It was God. Because God put the breath in my body, bro. If, I didn't, if God didn't put the breath in my body, then I wouldn't be able to do none of this. So I always got to thank God. Like, at the end of the day, bro, it don't matter what I do, bro. I got to thank God, bro. And I'm human at the 
the end of the day, I'm human, so I'm a Christian, I'm saved, you know, but at the same time, I'm a human. I do wrong things. Everybody do wrong things. I just, I repent. I, that's the difference. I take my time to repent for the wrong things because I know I have done wrong, so I confess my sins. And for me doing that, I can change my, my ways, you know, from the bad ways. I can change my bad ways and make them good, you know, and I can be cool with God. So, I mean, I'm praying that God keep on leading me and guiding me to do the right things. Every time I pray, you know, I'm looking for an answer from God. But sometimes, you know, but most of the time, all the time, it's not going to be an answer like you think. It's not a spoken word like God literally talking back to me. It may be through me thinking of something, me doing something. You know, God show up in mysterious ways, bro. Yeah, man, so that's all I really want to talk about today. Tomorrow, bro, we should have another video coming. I'm going to keep on trying to post every day for y'all. But y'all already know, man, it's your boy, Kayla J.O.E. Joe, man. We out, man. Okay, to talk about all that, whatever.